Toto. I'm Tim Neverett. So glad you're watching college football with us on Versus. For TCU, they're unbeaten. Their calling card has been a stifling defense. Yeah, we talk about All-Americans on the defense, and obviously we show you that. We talk about the speed, but sometimes you just need to like a look at the numbers. They're first overall in the nation in total yards per game allowed, first and first downs allowed, and look at that, third in points per game allowed. But Ryan Lindley is emerging as one of the best quarterbacks in the country, just a sophomore. Yeah, coaches like Ryan Lindley. He throws the ball exactly what they're asking him to do. They, he doesn't do too much. He can make the throws they ask, but more importantly, he's done a good job of just learning the offense and fitting in. This year, Brady Hoke, he comes over from Ball State trying to create that culture of winning here in San Diego. Well, if I'm a program and I'm looking to become stable, I hire experienced coaches. I hire Al Borges as my offensive coordinator. He's been a coordinator for a long time. I hire Rocky Long, an ex-head coach. I hire guys that bring stability to rebuild my program. And Lindsey Soto, that experience from the coaching staff is something that's not lost on these Aztecs players. Noting on teaching them how to win. Still have a long ways to go. They need to be stronger. They need to be more athletic, but they're already a lot tougher than they were and have three come from behind wins to show for it. Guys, this is a team that if they find themselves down today, they are not going away, and that is a step in the right direction. Darkle's kick is going to be taken into the end zone. And uh, Davian Malden, and that is where 205. He is. Let's check out the lineup. First for San Diego State, Ikeka Aiken Moletta, a senior, very experienced, now moving into that left guard position this week. DeMarco Sampson, great speed. He has become the primary receiver for Ryan Lindley. Backs are split, and for Lindley, working under center. Quickly throws it out. Keep tabs on him all day. Yard line, need to get to the 29 for a first down. And Lindley out of his own end zone, fires, that one is incomplete. And he's standing at the midfield stripe, so TCU will end up with good field position on their first. And TCU, you get lost in the fact that Andy Dalton's playing so well this year. And TCU. Antoine Hicks, a big play receiver. Williams, very talented defensive end. Wesley, the Harry Patterson's horn frogs on the board first at six nothing. On versus his in the eye, and Lindley will hand off to Casey. Who waters the fullback one in motion and now up for grabs on Sampson. McCoy, the man in on coverage, and this will be just of the frogs. First down, here's Sampson. Makes the catch the 45. Rushing game has struggled. Out of the offset eye, this is Sullivan. And Sullivan bounces off a would-be tackler. The left inside handoff, Casey. Looking to bounce to the outside here. Second down and eight. Lindley fires to his tight end, DJ Shields. And falls in the air, no contact either offensively or defensively allowed. An unusual and with the weather today, a pleasant occurrence here at Qualcomm Stadium. Quick pass to the outside to Marco Sampson catch and run. So that if you ask him, he'll be the first to tell you he had a bad attitude for the last few years. He didn't get along with the old coaches, and so he sort of acted out. He even says he was a cancer for the last few seasons. Not anymore, though. Brady Hoke sat him down early on, said straight up, you're not going to play if you don't get your act together. And he did. He's really turned things around. Has seven touchdowns in his last three games. He has been doing the job this year, no doubt, Lindsay. And now they set up the screen to him, far side. That's actually Austin Amulo. Austin Amulo oh, gets back near the original line of scrimmage. Just a couple six. Dalton with time sets. He fires his Ketterman. That's Ryan Christian. First down and out of bounds. Looks down to four for 59 yards. He'll carry it himself. He's got a touchdown. Andy Dalton in for the rushing touchdown. 13 yards. And well, apparently Andy Dalton did something after the touchdown. The officials thought was uncalled for. Andy Dalton has done very well with his feet as he adds the extra point. Love this. San Diego State. See the numbers on third down. And out of the gun goes Lindley. Fires underneath. Has a man. Preston King, Darrell Washington with the tackle. Doug Deacon will do the holding. 
here against the Vandals of Idaho. This one's up. And this one is good. Three points on the board for San Diego State. TCU's defense. Yard to go. Dalton will hand off to Turner. He's hit in the backfield and dropped. Terrific play by KJ Ontelli. The defensive end on the state of Hawaii is one of seven men who will rotate in on that defensive front. And he made a big hit on Turner. The start today in front of Daywon Hemmings. And Frogs. And Dalton. Pass complete. That goes to Evans. And out of the gun. Dalton will keep. And Dalton. To the end zone. He's in for the second time today. Touchdown, TCU. Pylon. I don't know if he's got that much speed, but he does a nice job. Just one little move. Gets of the SEC week in and week out. Blitz coming from the outside, and Lindley completes to DeMarco Sampson at the 30. TCU with a 21-3 lead. And Casey trying to cut to the outside, but San Diego State, and out of the gun, Lindley sets, throws, it's tipped, and in. Jerry Hughes got a great get off, almost looked offside. And Lindley guns toward the end zone, but just of the season. It's a 48 yarder he's got lined up. He made a 45 yarder for the Aztecs only point. Spot is good. Plenty of distance. A booming kick by Lane Yoshida. And he adds three more. Silver end makes it a 21 6 game. And for Frogs. Play fake. Dalton lots of time. Fires has run. 